Hi, my name is Anis Naeem. I'm an art director and production designer working in both the film and games industries. I currently work at Riot Games as an art director and we'll be taking a look at how to make this, so let's get started. In chapter 4, generating a final frame, which is what you see here in the background, and on top of that, animating a basic move of the robot. I'll go into a little bit about um, hierarchies and how to set up the robot if you decide to create this exact design or something of the you know of your own design I'd highly encourage you to do something of your own just for this exercise because I don't go quite literally into making every single piece and it's a little open open-ended but I'd still love to see what you guys create and uh, let's jump right in so um, I set up parent parent hierarchies here I took everything and I placed it into one empty and of course this was not rotated so if I press alt R this is how it was and I keyframe this so if I move forward one frame it'll snap back so let's go to alt R and alt G now this is at the origin and I would have to do this with everything else that I animated but um, I began working inwards so I um, inwards and then out this way so I placed a another empty inside that held the robot itself and then I held this uh, I placed I parented this to this master empty and the reason I did that is because in case as the robot is you know going in uh, either axis you know left right up down whatever XYZ you can actually uh, separate the rotation so it becomes less complicated for you to work with and you can rotate this you know on whichever axis you prefer or you'd like to and um, it, it really helps in kind of culling the chaos so to speak and so it, it's quite simple you just take a shift right click or control right click bring the 3d cursor there and uh, I'm actually going to let's just do alt R alt R and then alt R there so that's how it should look in its reset position right so um, let's take um, I'm just going to add another empty here so let's let's take our Let's say this is our joint, right? This is where the head actually rotates. So we'll take Shift A, we'll go to Empty. We'll uh, actually, we need to place the 3D cursor here. So Control right click, and now your uh, origin for your object is uh, the cursor is right at your origin, and this is super important. So if you haven't, if your origin is somewhere else, I would just Z isolate here, go here click this and then click this and control shift right click and it'll place it directly in the center and this just happened to be symmetrical and even so it, it was this way but you'll need to have to have some planning for this as you model um, or just spend some time redoing this stuff uh, once you get to the animation stage so your joint is perfectly here now shift a empty let's I'm gonna put arrows so you can actually see Right, so now these arrows, if you go into wireframe mode, you can see they're right at that origin point. And then you simply select the this. So what you'll need to do is take this, 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 parent it to this by pressing shift, so uh, clicking or selecting this last, control P, parent object, right? And it's snapping somewhere else because I, um, parent object and keep transformation I should say so it'll stay right there and then select this and parent this to whoops come on please play nice there we go parent this to that and control P and keep object uh, object keep transform and you, you notice I don't need to select all this I just need to select this because this was the last parent and so you're kind of just working one two three and you're just kind of working your way up in hierarchy and just logical hierarchy to the center of the object where you want 
the parenting to be. You could do all this with bones, but because this is extremely mechanical, I thought it would be much easier for me at the, mo at the time to do it all with empties. And um, so yeah, so now you have this, and if you rotate this, of course, you can rotate that, but you wouldn't. And you can also lock, um, so you can, if you press N, you can just lock all this once you're done here. And um, and then that way, if you try to move it, you can't. You know, if I press spacebar, nothing's happening now. And that's because you want the parent to control its rotation and stuff, so it doesn't actually move out of place uh, and surprise you by you know getting all out of control. So here, um, now we have this, right? So now we can't move this either. We just have this. So just click this because everything's connected to this cylinder here. And then shift, click that and press control P and keep transform. And now we have this and RZ. There we go. You see? So um, now say you only want this to move on the Z axis because RY does that, right? And RX does this. And we will never use that ever because just the design of this object doesn't move that way so our x so we'll just lock the x and y axis and now if you press r you don't even need to press rz it'll automatically only purely rotate on the z axis so that's just uh from the hand and you just kind of work your way up and form these relationships which can, is quite time consuming uh this was a few hours that i was just doing this but once you're done you're you know robot is or your bot is quite uh, posable in this design at least and of course you can do this uh, so I, you see here I, I've locked any of the other axes so I can't actually move this and if I wanted to move any of this I would have to go to the root empty here the logical place for it to um, rotate and I just press R and it rotates so you can see I locked the Y and Z axes here and then um, here this is free floating and of course I played these relationships here as well and here and then of course here so um, I just kind of figured that out um, just one step at a time you work your way backwards and um, and forwards and it should become pretty clear as to what the right answer is I can't there isn't a solution for every design ever because every design is different and of course this um, I screwed up on because I uh, I didn't plan for this correctly so you can see that I just you have I, I posed it and I, I, I kind of I wouldn't look at this as a good example in my opinion but uh, everything else works so let's now um, quickly show the keyframing process so I'm going to just press A and press X and press delete and then press R, Alt R and Alt G. So this is reset into its, um, you know, origin, the world origin. So now nothing's happening. It's just moving in, in space, right? Like uh, in place, I should say. And that's okay. So let's get into our camera here and let's first move it on the y-axis somewhere here I don't know why it's I may have okay I just had to close down the file I screwed something up in the parenting so let's take uh, this here right and move it somewhere along this axis let's view our camera let's get our front camera here Right, move this on the y-axis, say we want it somewhere there, press I, and then I I just set it to location, or you know what, I lock rot, that's location and rotation, so you can see it's set a location and rotation for everything, and then let's move it on the y-axis again, and oh, actually let's move to the final keyframe here. So 
So move it on the y-axis and then move it down. And then R X or Y I should say. And insert lock rot. And actually just move this here. So my ending is 350, so I will just kind of bring it past or just leave it at 350 here. Sorry. There we go. And there we go. So now we have our animation. It's moving, the camera's moving along with it, and you realize, okay, it's too high. So just go back to your initial uh, keyframe here uh, on 100 and just move it down. And maybe you want to rotate it on the x-axis. So it's like kind of coming, rotating up, and then rotating down. So I lock rot. And there we go. So now that looks a little bit more like it's in frame instead of just the edge of the frame. So let's view that. That looks pretty good. And my frame rate is pretty good. So that's good. Great. So uh, that's our animation, and of course you want to, you're wondering how I set this up in the background, which is really quite simple. It's as easy as Shift A, Control right click, Shift A, Plane, Mesh Plane, S, and SX, and just Shift V. So let's see what the material was here, Earth Plane, Earth Plane, there we go, and I just Let's go to wire mode. I just kind of went in my camera, right? And I just lined it up to where I wanted it to. There we go. See? RZ. And I painted this in Photoshop. I stitched together some satellite photos. And it was as simple as that. And it, it honestly worked quite well. So I looked at my first frame. And, you know, you put this here, but then you go here and it's all, you know, so, so I chose somewhere in the middle and I put the point there and then I just increased the scale and moved it back on the Y axis there. And there we go. And then, of course, you know, if say you don't like that, you can rotate this, make it bigger and do whatever you want. There's really no, you know, science to it. You can make it bigger, smaller and just use a portion of your your image here and then um, you have all of these other so let's go into rendered right and the nice thing about all of this is I'll just talk about the hardware that I'm using so let's go to edit preferences and we'll go to system I'm using two RTX 2080 Ti's which have really helped uh, increase the speed with which I can do all this. I'll click Optics which really only uses these two and not really, it's not supported on the GPU. And you can actually, you know, go into Cycles and just wait for the render and there you go. The noise cancelling or smoothing, it's amazing, it's so beautiful. It, it, it really works you know you've lost you lose the bloom and you'll have to kind of add that in compositing and so I kind of just stuck with EV which looked in a, in some way kind of better than cycles just in this scenario for me at least and uh, so yeah past this like two RTX cards it, it really did the job it was like less than 10 seconds per frame and oh it looks like I accidentally deleted the center bit there so uh, disregard that but um, yeah and that's it this is you know thanks for watching uh, please you know subscribe to the channel uh, you can find me on Facebook on Instagram on my website wherever I hope you learned something and if you have any questions please leave a comment below thank you